Take a deep breath. Right now, as you inhale, you're drawing more than just life-giving oxygen into your lungs. You're also inhaling an invisible cocktail of particles and gases that have made a home inside your home. Dust mites, pet dander, pollen that hitched a ride on your clothes, smoke from last night's dinner, and volatile organic compounds, VOCs, off-gassing from your furniture and paint. This is the unseen battle raging in the air of every modern household. In our quest for a cleaner, healthier indoor environment, two technologies have emerged as potential champions, the air purifier and the ozone generator. Let's demystify these two technologies and reveal which one is the true hero of home air quality and which is a potential hazard in disguise. Functionality and Mechanism Air purifiers work by drawing air into the device and passing it through a series of filters, such as HEPA, high-efficiency particulate air, or activated carbon filters. These filters physically trap contaminants like dust, pollen, pet dander, and even some gaseous pollutants like volatile organic compounds, VOCs. The cleaned air is then released back into the room, ensuring that pollutants are contained within the machine rather than dispersed into the environment. This internal cleaning process makes air purifiers a passive, yet effective solution for maintaining air quality without introducing any harmful byproducts. On the other hand, ozone generators take a more aggressive chemical approach to air purification. These devices intentionally produce ozone gas, O3, by ionizing oxygen molecules in the air, often through a process called corona discharge or ultraviolet radiation. Once released, the ozone reacts with pollutants, odors, and microorganisms in the surrounding environment, breaking them down at a molecular level. Unlike air purifiers, the cleaning process happens outside the device, as ozone interacts directly with substances in the room. While this can be powerful for neutralizing certain contaminants, it also means that ozone, a potentially harmful gas, is introduced into the space. This fundamental difference in mechanism sets the stage for significant variations in safety and application, which we'll explore further. Effectiveness in air cleaning. When it comes to effectiveness, air purifiers have a well-established track record for improving indoor air quality across a broad spectrum of pollutants. They're particularly adept at capturing particulate matter, such as dust, pollen, and pet dander, thanks to AGPA filters that can trap particles as small as 0.3 microns with high efficiency. Many models also incorporate activated carbon filters to absorb odors and gaseous pollutants, making them versatile for addressing common indoor air issues. Their effectiveness is consistent and reliable, especially for continuous use in occupied spaces like homes and offices. For individuals with allergies or asthma, air purifiers can significantly reduce triggers, providing a noticeable improvement in comfort and health. Their performance is backed by scientific studies and certifications, ensuring that they deliver on their promises without posing risks to users. Ozone generators, by contrast, excel in specific scenarios, but fall short in others. They're highly effective at eliminating strong odors, such as those from tobacco smoke, pet smells, or post-renovation chemical fumes, by chemically altering the odor-causing molecules. Additionally, ozone can kill bacteria, viruses, and mold spores, making these devices useful for disinfecting spaces. However, their effectiveness in neutralizing pollutants often takes time, as the ozone needs to react with contaminants in the air or on surfaces. Moreover, ozone generators are not designed to remove particulate matter, like dust or pollen, meaning they often require a secondary filtration system for comprehensive air cleaning. Safety and Health Impacts Safety is a critical factor when comparing air purifiers and ozone generators, as it directly affects their suitability for everyday use. Air purifiers are widely regarded as safe for continuous operation in occupied spaces. Since they rely on physical filtration rather than chemical reactions, they do not release harmful gases or byproducts into the air. This makes them an ideal choice for households with children, elderly individuals, or those with respiratory conditions like asthma or allergies. 
Whether you're running an air purifier in a bedroom overnight or in the living room during the day, there's no concern about adverse health effects. Their design prioritizes user safety, ensuring that the air they clean remains free of additional contaminants. Ozone generators, however, come with significant health risks that cannot be overlooked. Ozone, even at low concentrations, can irritate the respiratory system, causing symptoms like coughing, throat irritation, and shortness of breath. For individuals with asthma or other lung conditions, exposure can exacerbate symptoms and lead to serious health issues. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, and other health organizations have warned against the use of ozone generators in occupied spaces, as safe levels are difficult to maintain without specialized equipment and monitoring. These devices are best used in unoccupied areas, with proper ventilation to dissipate ozone after treatment. Use Cases and Practical Applications the ideal use cases for air purifiers and ozone generators highlight their distinct roles in air quality management. Air purifiers are the go-to solution for everyday air cleaning in homes, offices, schools, and other occupied spaces. They are perfect for managing common indoor pollutants like dust, allergens, and mild odors on a continuous basis. If you live in Celed, where humidity can lead to mold growth and dust accumulation, an air purifier can help maintain a healthier living environment year-round. They're especially beneficial for allergy sufferers or pet owners who need consistent relief from dander and hair. With various models available, from portable units for small rooms to whole house systems, air purifiers cater to a wide range of needs without requiring special precautions. Ozone generators, in contrast, are better suited for specific short-term applications where other methods fall short. They are often used for odor removal in spaces like hotel rooms or cars or homes after events like flooding or fire damage where strong smells linger. Additionally, they can be effective for mold and mildew treatment in unoccupied areas, as well as disinfecting spaces by killing pathogens. However, their use must be carefully controlled. Rooms should be vacated during operation and adequate time must be allowed for ozone to dissipate before re-entry. For most households, ozone generators are a last resort rather than a primary tool, reserved for situations where deep sanitization or odor elimination is critical and cannot be achieved through safer means. Long-term costs and maintenance. Cost considerations play a significant role in choosing between air purifiers and ozone generators, especially when factoring in long-term maintenance. Air purifiers often have higher ongoing costs due to the need for regular filter replacements. HEPA and carbon filters typically need to be changed every 6 to 12 months, depending on usage and air quality, which can add up over time. Additionally, some models consume more electricity, contributing to operational costs. However, these expenses come with the benefit of low risk and consistent performance, making air purifiers a worthwhile investment for sustained air quality improvement. Ozone generators generally have lower maintenance costs since they do not rely on filters or consumable parts. Most models require only occasional cleaning and basic upkeep, keeping long-term expenses minimal. However, the health risks associated with ozone exposure can lead to indirect costs, such as the need for safety equipment, professional operation, or even medical expenses if misuse occurs. Furthermore, some ozone generators may produce impure gas mixtures containing harmful byproducts like nitric acid, which can damage surfaces or pose additional health hazards. So, which one should you choose? In summary, air purifiers and ozone generators serve very different purposes in the realm of air quality management. Air purifiers stand out as the safer, more versatile option for everyday use, effectively removing a wide range of pollutants without health risks. Ozone generators, while powerful for specific tasks like odor removal and disinfection, come with significant safety challenges and are best reserved for controlled, short-term applications in unoccupied spaces. 
When deciding between the two, consider your primary needs, whether it's ongoing air quality improvement or a one-time deep clean, as well as safety, cost, and environmental factors.